Well, I've come back momentarily because the postman's just been. And he actually bought good news and parcels. First, let me just zoom out a bit. I've received a letter from the DWP. And for those that don't know what that is, in the UK, that's the Department for Work and Pensions. Basically, the welfare agency. Now, usually when you get letters like that, you think, oh, fuck, what's going wrong now? But uh, this has actually brought me good news. About a month or so ago, they asked me to fill in an assessment form, um, you know, about my, um, the way my illness affects me in my day-to-day -day life. So between me and mum, we filled that in. And I got this letter, and I don't mind reading it. Obviously, there's personal numbers and things on this, so I'm not going to show it to you, but the actual information, I don't mind reading out. Your claim for employment and support allowance. A change in the employment and support allowance rate payable. We have looked at your claim again following a recent change. From 29th of April 2016, your ESA, employment and support allowance, will be £121.35 a week. This is because of a decision on your capability for work. You have moved from the work-related activity group to the support group. So I'm now on the same group as another friend of mine who's also got autism. Um, we will credit you with national insurance contributions while claiming ESA, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so yeah, I've actually gone up from £100 a week to 121 It's a pity they didn't do this like a year or more ago, but never mind. So that means tomorrow I should actually have some extra cash. As it goes from the 29th of April and today is now what? The 11th. Uh, I'm just going to turn my fan off for a minute. <laughs> so that was the first bit of good news. Now, I was actually expecting one parcel, but two arrived. So I'm just going to stick you there and turn my screen so I can see it. Right, where's my box car gone? I've got a little box car somewhere. It's disappeared. What have I done with it? Anything sharp at all around here? I think the packaging could have been a little bit better on this for what it cost me. Actually, I don't know. What did it cost me? I can't remember. Oh, well. It doesn't feel damaged anyway, but I know this is the um, Sonic game that I bought. This second class small parcel. Oh, it did cost 285 the fact it went through my letterbox, I would have classed that as a large letter, but usually it depends on the staff at the behind the cashier when you go in the post office. Yep, there it is. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the Master System. Let's make sure it's in the case. It is, it is in good condition. It doesn't look as described. I'll test to see if that works later. <clears throat> well, I can't argue. <laughs> that is well timed. <laughs> Personally, I think I would have put them in a box myself. Um, but I'm not going to complain yet because it depends if they bloody work or not. Uh, just knowing the postal service, I would have put them in a, or at least wrapped them in some cardboard. I think they might be actually. No, they're not. And just wrapped in brown paper. But I do need a sharp object for this. I'm just trying to find my stone knife. What did I do with that? I had it the other day. You know, I've got about three Stanley knives, and I can't find either one of them at the minute. And my toolbox. Nope. Fudge if I put that. I should have two box cutters as well. Oh, hang on, I know where it might be. Come with me. I'll go grab it. I 
just remembered I'd used it in the bedroom. And then my seats ran the wrong way. <laughs> right. Oh, and I got the seat post out of that mountain bike. All it took was literally just a couple of taps with a hammer. And that made it go down quite easily, so I stuck the seat back on, bit of oil down it, and twisted it left and right, and it came out quite easily. Right, so I've actually got to be careful, because the way they've taped this parcel up, there's nothing between what I'm cutting and the games. So I'm just sort of... Oh, it is. It's in one of them um, padded envelope things. I had some protection. So I've got one, two. Ooh, I think they wedged them three in there. Eh. Mega Drive, Mega Drive, Master System. There we go. So, we got my Andretti Racing. We got my Lotus 2. Nearly bought another one of these because I'd forgot I'd already bought one. Uh, World Grand Prix. Dick Tracy. GP Rider. Can you see a pattern here? If you actually look at my PlayStation 2 and whatnot games collections, I have the same sort of games in there. All shooting games and driving games. And whatnot. <laughs> right, I'm not going to put these in the bedroom. Where's Sonic? I'll take you through as well. So I've got some testing to do. I'm not actually sure if I'm going to disappear out later or not. No. I don't know if a touch of the uh, can't be asked might be kicking in. So I'm just going to sit these up here for the time being. So that's what the collection is now looking like. If I can find some more cased games. I want Transport, Scramble Spirits, that was a bloody good one. Yeah. Let's just see if they power up and turn on, shall we? Mega Drive is already um, switched, so I'm going to do that. Make sure that's all blown out. Put it in round the right way would help. So I'll click that in. And turn that on. And see if Lotus works. It does. Oh, EA has been around for a long while then. 1993, Gremlin. Two player as well. Player one. The Esprit. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. <laughs> uh, I wonder while well, I'm just testing these games. Uh, what's that going to look like on here? I need that a bit higher, aren't I? What have I got that I can sit you on? Test out some games. Let's try this one. Whoa! Nearly got, got it all in the face. Nearly there. <laughs> Nearly there. Ah. <laughs> Whoopsie! I nearly went arse over to it. We've got this. Uh, no, 
Oh. I need the other one. Oh. So, thought we can use this, I think. That might be better. Zoom you in. No, we need you up a smidge more. If I'd used my brain, I'd have turned the camera off to do this. But... Right. There we go. Let's see how well I can play a 1993 game, shall we? I thought I'd press the start button. So, what's the throttle? Not my white dipstick. Put the rock there. Get out of my way, numb nuts. Yeah, this one's working well. It survived the post anyway, didn't it? Out of time. Oh. Okay. That's what I like about these old consoles. You can just turn them off. No worrying about saving the game or anything. Try cartridge. Number two. What was that? Andretti Racing. So we'll turn it on. Is it going to do anything? Give it a good old bang. There we go. <laughs> if and don't give the cartridge a cloak. What are you going to put? Game in the master system ready as well. Andretti the Racing, Mario Andretti. Right. Start button. Single race. Let's go stock. Do I press the wrong button? Go for a nice easy track. Just uh, go for a couple of laps. Race. Two bloody um, windows there. Look, I thought it was two player, but it isn't. This is just two different, the same car, two different views. Get out of my way, bitch.
Oh. That didn't go well. <laughs> Yay! I just don't know all my Mega Drive games are in working order. Eighty miles per hour, apparently. <laughs> Don't quite think so. Right, so that's tested and working. So, flip me switch. And we have no power at the PS at the um, master system. But the question is. Why? I thought there was. Now, I'll just sort out technical glitch. Now, it's plugged in, so why is it me working? So it's got a dodgy power connector, that's all. I haven't used one of these in bloody years. It's not meant to look like that. Now it's working. Ah, I see. Hitting the wrong button. Accelerate. May have to have this master system open and just check that um, power jack. eventually and I gave the cartridge a good blow so I may have got a bit of dust right this one's that was GP rider this one is Dick Tracy so is Dick Tracy gonna work or is he gonna be a dick Lightning Sega of America, all right, it's the reserved. Do, 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 do. Easy Kazama. Wuss. <laughs> now, this is just like Moonwalker.
was easy. <laughs> that was really easy. Right. Mr. Tracy works. What was my last one? World Grand Prix. Oh no, we've got Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, I've got this um, master system at a peculiar angle at the moment because it's the only way I can get the power supply to work. Push that button, level one, that'll do. Simple as that to set this game up, bloody hell. And why is it your opponents always fly off ahead like that? That isn't fair. Do we have any turns in the road? Oh, we've got a slight one. Sod the brakes, who needs brakes? I love how the cars turn. They don't actually turn the front wheels, they just sort of move the front end. <laughs> Do one race and... Uh... Try Sonic, make sure Sonic works. That'll do. We know it works. Okay. One more. I nearly forgot. Let's try it, shall we? works. I think this is the first game I ever completed. Yeah, it is. Is there a secret? Yep. Ah, oh, I just lost all them rings because of that stupid robotic rat. Can't believe I actually remembered where that secret hidey hole was. I do hate that. You go through all that effort to get all those gold rings. Is 
Is it sad that I've actually got the music playing in my head? Rings. You get extra life if you get a hundred rings, don't you? Something like that, anyway. I don't want to stop. I want to roll. I used to absolutely adore this game. Forgot to jump out. Yay! Good. Guess what I might play tonight? <laughs> good, 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 good. That's a pass as well. Whoa, what am I standing on? Here we go. That's my get up that I had you sitting on. <laughs> so, that was a change of plan. I'm not going to add. If I do decide to bugger off out, I'm not going to add it onto this video. I'll put it on a separate video, possibly. Or I might stick it on. It's up to you. Or up to me, I don't know. I might use that as a, this as a separate video, actually, about be a better idea. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, retro visit on these retro Master System and Mega Drive games. Something like that, I ain't got a bloody clue. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.